Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. Um, this is not our normal vlog setup, but this is vlog number 52, and I'm going to show you how to set up the super cool vMix X Keys uh, controller here. This is 124 buttons here with a T-bar fader, really, really cool. And uh, vMix actually has a tutorial on this as well, uh, but I wanted to make a new one because I was stumped on how to put the buttons on and get the stickers into the little buttons. I wasn't sure how that works, so uh, I included that as well in this tutorial. So here is the um, the keyboard itself, and it comes with a bunch of stickers, and of course you can make your own, do a bunch of custom cool stuff. But what I found is, and I saw that it came with like the up, down, left, right arrow buttons already on there. Um, what you do is you, oh, you, um, you pull the key off and it, there's actually like a little case inside of the key and that is where you can go ahead and slip in um, that second uh, you, you can slip in whatever you want in there and then it's got a nice little place to live inside the keyboard so I'm gonna speed this up and show you how quick and easy it was to go ahead and get eight keys well seven I think I put yeah eight keys here I actually needed nine but I got eight keys there, and then I just did uh, A, B, C, D, E, F uh, along the top there so that I'd have some extra stuff for uh, intros and overlays. And then I put over on the right-hand side just an intro, outro, and then a, a transition button. And I'm, next I'm going to show you how to, to map all of that in vMix. But you can see it doesn't take long, a couple minutes, everything is, um, is set up there. So that that's my initial setup. I'm sure over the years or over the weeks, I'm going to set up more. So you go into vMix, you hit settings, and then you go into shortcuts. Now, I'm going to pause it really quickly to just mention a few things. One uh, thing I noticed is that you do need to have the drivers loaded for the X keys uh, device before you launch vMix. The drivers in Windows 7 take about 15 minutes to load, so just keep that in mind. If vMix is open and the drivers are loading, vMix is not going to recognize that you need to close vMix, reopen it once the drivers have been initiated in Windows, then it will find the keys. And it's so easy. You hit add, you hit find, you click the key that you want to map to, and then you just determine the function. And in this case, I want, uh, I'm going to show you how I use th this in a very basic setting to do overlays uh, as an agenda during my live show. So uh, I'm going to do another one here. I'm going to map a new key by clicking a new key, clicking OK. I'm going to do another final overlay here and then map it to uh, exactly where I need it and click OK and that is how it's set up inside vMix. So that gives you a pretty good idea of how it's set up. And then I wanted to give you just a real world um, scenario here. So this is how we usually do our live show here and there's agenda on the right hand side. So, ta-da! And there should be a little bell. Ding! Right, is, it, is the bell working? Or do I have that muted? Let me see here. Yeah, there's a little bell. So now I can just sit here and of course, you know, normally I, I, I don't, uh, I have all this stuff set up, but I'll use my pan tilt zoom camera to get the camera view just right. Okay, so now I can just sit here. Normally, I, I was going through and trying to find the inputs and everything. I can just sit here and go, pink, pink, pink. So nice, and I can just go through here. So I wanted to show a real world setting there of exactly how that works. I hope this has been a uh, helpful little tutorial there. Um, that's how it works. Uh, it's super easy. I think it's about $750 for this product. And uh, I'm going to be using it for all my live shows. It has a T-bar on here, which you can map as well. Um, and that is very easy to do. You just need to map to the, um, oh, what is it? Let me see if I can just pull this up for you guys as well. Because that was the one other thing I wanted to make sure everyone got was the mapping of the T-bar here is um, you want to go down to, let's pull this up, you want to go down to, I'll show this so that you guys can see this last little part, set fader. This is the last little little uh, piece that I, I needed. Let me just show you this as well. 
last little thing. Um, in order to set the fader, you need to go to shortcuts and then find find the fader itself. So go to lower high of the fader, click OK. And then the function is set fader. Where is it? Wait, I'm sorry, was, am I wrong by saying that? Function is Yeah, it should be set fader. Where am I not why am I not seeing that? Set oh there it is, set fader. Okay. Set fader. Boom. Now I have control over my T bar. So cool. So cool. So super cool. I can't believe it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Wow. Okay, so that's how it works. That's the last little thing. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I just wanted to get this out there. Tomorrow we have uh, Martin Sinclair from VMix on the show, so tune in. Thanks, everybody. Take care.